Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a quick look at the newest Windows Mobile 6.5 build, that's 23037. Now if you remember much older Windows Mobile 6.5 builds, and here we have 21839, if you went into the start menu, you really didn't have much of a choice with how these icons were arranged. So you could tap and hold on one of them and simply bring it to the top. But that's really all that you could do. But now in build 23037, we can actually finally rearrange them on the screen. And it's interesting to see actually um, how these two builds look side by side. So on the right, the later builds, all of the buttons have been moved to the bottom, whereas on the earlier builds, you still have the start button at the top and the X button at the top. And now everything is just consolidated right on the bottom. So if we go into the start menu, we can tap and hold any icon and drag it around on the screen. So if we take settings and hold it, we can move it up to where phone is. But the behavior is kind of weird because it should actually switch places with the icon you're replacing. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So let's see if we do calendar and we go up to Internet Explorer. Okay, so Internet Explorer jumped all the way over here. Doesn't make much sense, but I'm sure in future builds of Windows Mobile 6.5, this will make a lot more sense. So that's it for Windows Mobile build 23037. For more on Windows Mobile 6.5 to watch this progress and, and evolve, be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.